Hey, what's up? This is Marcel and today I want to share with you some very interesting information I have found on one news website here regarding tourism in Vietnam, the growing tourism numbers. I am currently in Nha Trang and I unfortunately cannot confirm that uh, as far as Western tourism is concerned that these numbers are growing. We have a strong domestic market. Uh, as I'm speaking right now, there is this national, the Vietnam national holiday, public holidays now going on. So the city is uh, again full of uh, domestic travelers, but for international tourism, it is quite low. But anyway, I want to share the screen now and show you some very interesting articles from uh, vietnamexpress.net. So the first article from August 30 says foreign visitor number increases by 38% in August, which is a very uh, positive number. The number of foreign visitors in August increased by 38% from the previous month to 486,000 as the tourism industry continued to recover. South Koreans topped the list at 173,000, followed by Americans and Cambodians. No Germans in the list here. I'm from Germany and uh, yeah, so I've met some Germans in uh, Ho Chi Minh City. So far this year, the country has received 1.4 million foreign tourists, only 28% of the full year target. And I know that the full year target is 5 million tourists. So now we have it already September and they reached like 1.4 million tourists. So how, how can you achieve that 5 million target? Yeah, by not closing down the borders, certainly not. You have to keep the borders open unconditionally and you also have to relax, loosen the visa policy in my opinion. Then it goes on to say with the numbers still not meeting expectations, the administration and uh, I'm referring here to the Vietnam National Administration of Tourism, the, Viet the Vietnam National Administration of Tourism is urging the government to consider expanding the list of eligible countries for visa waiver and doubling visa free stays for tourists from Western European countries to 30 days. So yes, the, there is a visa waiver program and most of the European countries, including Germany, are included in this program. It says that you can arrive in Vietnam and uh, enter Vietnam without uh, a visa whatsoever. Yeah, this visa waiver program uh, is uh, for 15 days. So for 15 days, you can be in Vietnam without any visa or they're asking to extend it to 30 days. It makes sense to me. And also they want to include uh, more countries. Yeah, why not? It now issues 30 day single entry visas online to, to people from 80 countries and territories, including Australia, India, UK and US. Yes, and that is the issue at the moment. I want to be honest, of course, on one on one hand, I am happy and grateful that Vietnam opened its borders unconditionally. You can just travel here, you can enter uh, without any restrictions uh, whatsoever. Okay, this is a good thing. And the 30 day single entry visa application procedure is also very easy. I've done it twice now. I have one visa run behind me. Uh, the application procedure is really simple. It costs 25 US dollars, yes. But it takes three to four business days and I think the, uh, the authorities, uh, they're doing a great job. Um, but let's look through some comments here from some readers. This person says, 30 days is not enough. Bring back 90 day visas and I'll come back and spend my money there. Even better, just copy exactly how the Philippines does visas and I will retire there and spend my life savings. So, I don't know how the Philippines are doing it. Maybe some of you have more information about it. And this person also looks to me as, as, as if he is or she a retiree or is 
at least interested to retire here in Vietnam. I am not uh, retiring yet and I'm not considering now to retire in Vietnam because this is not on my radar yet, this issue. Uh, so let's let's go to the next article here. Actually, we are now going through some more readers' views. So visa runs are tiring and not worth it. I strongly agree to this. This article is from September 1. Foreign tourist number to Vietnam increased in August, but according to readers, authorities need to loosen visa policy to reach the 5 million arrival target this year. The ad is black on white. Vietnamese government has a 5 million tourist arrival target for this year, and we have not reached even uh, 2 million now. There is one comment here. I have already been in and out of the country five times. The last time was at the end of August, and it will be the last time forever because I'm tired of having to spend a lot of money every month on flights to Bangkok, hotels, new visas, and at the end of September, I'm going back to my country, and the next destination will certainly not be Vietnam. So you can clearly see this person is frustrated, and I can relate to that. I did my first visa run just a couple of weeks ago. And yes, and even you're just flying to Bangkok, which is very close. It's a 90 minute flight basically from here, from Nha Trang. It does cost money. And even you stay one or two nights, it does cost it does cost money, the hotel, the new visa fee, 25 bucks and this and that, you know, it, it's adding up and then you, you're spending more money. There's another comment here. It gives the impression that Vietnam is no longer interested in international tourism. Otherwise, one would have already learned from the successful neighboring countries and changed the visa regulations accordingly. I feel sorry for the many people who live from international tourism. For example, those who have also bought houses with bank loans in order to rent them out as holiday apartments to tourists. Since April 2020, they no longer have any income Thousands of such apartments are empty in Nha Trang. So this gentleman is in Nha Trang or was in Nha Trang. I'm also in Nha Trang here. And let me address this comment. So uh, clearly he is frustrated and uh, he is saying that Vietnam is seemingly no, no longer interested in international tourism. I don't think so. Uh, I think this gentleman, want, gentleman wants to put a little bit the pressure here on some people, which is okay. But um, you also have to consider now after two years of big trouble, uh, Vietnam has now unconditionally opened its borders. It was the first country in Southeast Asia, and if I'm not mistaken, even in, in, in entire Asia, which opened up unconditionally, yeah, with no conditions, with no restrictions. The second country was Malaysia, actually, which uh, followed just last month. So this is a great thing. And I think we have to be a little bit patient. So eventually Vietnam, the government has to loosen visa policy in order to attract more tourists, in order to achieve their target of 5 million tourists. Then with current policies, this will not be possible. Um, so... Yeah, this is my comment uh, to, for this. And the other uh, thing he says, um, and by the way, Vietnam uh, should learn from neighboring countries. Mm, I, I, I don't know what he, what he really means. I mean, Malaysia, for example, has, it gives you three uh, 90, days, uh, 90 days visa for certain countries. And the second part for, for the, uh, regarding the apartments. So yeah, he is absolutely right. I mean, I can confirm this, Nha Trang used to be a booming city in 2019. A lot of development was happening, a lot of condos, apartment buildings, hotels. The city was really uh, a rushing. It was basically, you know, if you invested in Nha Trang up until 2019, I think you were on, a, on the right track. This, the city was basically printing money, right? The big problem here is that the main market are the Russians and the Chinese and Korea, yes, as well. But the Russians and the Chinese, they are not coming because of the political situation uh, at the moment. 
And so one big chunk, the major chunk, Chinese and Russian market is, uh, uh, is not there. But we have a very strong domestic market in Natrang. We currently are celebrating the national, the Vietnamese national holidays. I can see the city is full of people, of tourists, of domestic tourists, because it's a long weekend. So, and they fill up the apartments now. Uh, there are not so many empty apartments, but you wait for September and October. Yeah, definitely then these domestic folks will go back to work. Also, the school starts in September. Then you will see uh, the effect. And um, I was also wondering, these uh, local people here, I, I asked one of my colleagues, actually, uh, because I, in order to fill up all these thousands of hotel rooms and apartments, how does it work? I mean, do they offer them cheaper rates? And he said, no, no, actually, the people who are coming to Natrang, the domestic Vietnamese, actually have, have money. Yeah? And I can confirm this, you know, because they're, they're staying at places where you actually have to pay a lot of money. So this is how it is. Uh, but yeah, um, tourism need to eventually improve, and uh, especially international tourism. Uh, the next comment, please, Vietnam, revert back to 90-day visa. The 30-day e-visa is a complete waste of time. I can manage to see most of my friends on Gat Ba, but it doesn't allow me much else to do. So Sapa, Hagyang, or Hasyang, I don't know how to pronounce that. The loop and the drive back to Hanoi will have to wait. Looks like Malaysia again and Vietnam lost. Yeah, again, another comment. Then I found another article here, which is actually from June 29th already. Foreign tourist number in H1 recovers to 7% of pre-pandemic levels. H1 re refers to the first half of 2022. And so I missed my highlights. I highlighted a few things here, uh, but now it's not there anymore. So I have to try to, to remember. Uh, yeah, here, now it's coming. So Vietnam received 602,000 foreign arrivals in the first half of this year, around 7% of pre-pandemic levels in 2019. So this article is two months old. So at the time it was only 7%. We can clearly see the lagging behind. However, the government currently only issues one month single entry visa to visitors from other countries and has not resumed issuing three months visas as before. Travel firms complained unfriendly visa policies are still the biggest barrier for Vietnam's tourism recovery. I agree. Vietnam targets 5 million foreign tourists this year, around 30% of the foreign arrivals in 2019. That's an interesting number. So even they target 5 million tourists for this year. And we are far away from that, the 5 million only actually were 30% uh, of the arrivals, the entire arrivals in 2019. So that makes it um, about 15, millions, 15 million arrivals in 2019. So Vietnam is very far away from that number, obviously. And the last article I want to share here is um, from Saigon, just recently posted. Zygon tourists, Zygon tourist hotspots begin to sizzle again. And I'm waiting for my highlights. Uh, yeah, so this article actually basically is a reporting about the situation in Saigon, that many tourists are coming back and uh, interviewing also some foreign folks. Uh, there are so many stalls selling clothing, footwear, jewelry and souvenirs and we spent more than an hour exploring it. One tourist is saying Vietnamese cuisine is nice. We have tried noodle soups and sweet soups. And yeah, so uh, and there's another uh, Vietnamese a bar manager here who says that her business situation has seen positive signs though the number of foreign tourists is only about 50% of previous levels. It looks like a dream, and I believe all the difficulties are in the past. I hope the city's tourism industry will recover quickly, and many foreign tourists will come to the city. 
in the near future. This lady said, yeah, she is, uh, of course, hoping also this is what the country needs. Um, at the moment, everything looks very promising. Uh, there are a few more comments here. I want to read it. So one comment is you need to open your visa program back to pre COVID levels. If you want the tourists to come, summer vacation is over next month. So if you want to stay in the hunt for your goal of 3.5, actually this person means 5 million tourists open up because all the retirees want to start their plans now, no visa, no tourists. So, I'm not sure about these retirees. Uh, I have no information about uh, people who want to retire here. I, have, I mean, I have no, no figure, no number, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that Vietnam is a destination for retirees in the future. And re uh, remember the, the headline of this article was Saigon tourist hotspots begin to sizzle again. And Here's a very funny comment actually. Sizzle. The current visa system will make sure it will not sizzle. It won't even get lukewarm. Yeah. So we see there are a lot of comments regarding this visa issue and uh, I'm actually happy to see them because I'm in the same boat and I can confirm this. This is just um, uncomfortable and inconvenient. Uh, 30 days sounds a lot, but if you want to travel Vietnam, if you want to really explore Vietnam, uh, 30 days is never enough. You should at least, at least spend three months in the country, if not longer, if not uh, even uh, six months. And uh, if you get 90 days, then uh, this is much more convenient. It's uh, more cost effective. So I can relate to these comments. And I think the pressure is on. Give the Vietnamese governments some time. I think they will eventually loosen the visa policy. In Malaysia, for example, me as a German passport holder, when I enter Malaysia, I get 90 days right away, which is very convenient. Thailand is only issuing 30 days. Yeah, So not all the countries have a relaxed uh, entry visa policy. Of course, I'm a European, the German passport is very strong. It's relatively easy for me to travel. Anyway, long story short. So I think these news are very promising. The tourism is growing. This is what we want as travelers, but also this is what the local business people, the local, uh, the local folks need who are running their businesses here. And we could also see that the Vietnamese government has a target, which is really good. And you only can achieve that target at 5 million tourists by the end of this year. If you keep the borders open, if you have, uncon if you have no restrictions in place and um, everything is kind of unconditionally like it was in 20, up until 2019. I think Vietnam has great potential to even um, top these 5 million. As we learned um, in 2019, Vietnam reached 15 million arrivals, which is, uh, I think, a good number compared to Thailand. I know the number in Thailand was 40 million people in 2019. They had 40 million tourist arrivals in Thailand in 2019. That was also a new record for the country. So Vietnam was at 15 million, Thailand was at 14 million. But Thailand is a much more popular tourist destination. We all know that for many decades now. But Vietnam has been growing consistently for the past, I would say, 15 to 20 years. And especially the tourism sector with new hotels and everything, new resort hotels and business hotels, they have been uh, growing since the past 10 years, I would say, especially on the coastline in central Vietnam. Vietnam has great potential. It's a great country. And Vietnam will also find its niche within the Southeast Asian market uh, if it, has, if it uh, remains smart in developing the country, opening it up for tourism, 
Uh, but also I know that Vietnam is already on the radar for many people who want to retire here because uh, I mentioned it in my previous video, it has just a, a, a relatively good infrastructure, uh, the costs are low, yeah, that makes it very attractive for, for foreign uh, retirees, but also for foreign travelers, because if you earn dollars or euro or British pound, then you have a great advantage here in Vietnam yeah, to spend that money. So overall, uh, I'm happy to see that the tourism is developing. I'm checking out for today. I hope you like this video. I, f I hope you found this information useful. Let me know in the comment section, are you somebody who want to retire here in Vietnam or is already retired? Or are you somebody who is also fed up with this visa run thing? Are you somebody who want to see then back the 90 day visa? Or are you somebody who wants to travel to Vietnam and is still not sure uh, whether to come or not? Let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.